Hey guys, in this video I want to go over adding binary. Now adding binary is pretty simple and straightforward, but let's start off by looking at a simple example. Let's say we're adding these two numbers, 1, 1 and 0, 1. Okay, so what is it that we do? You go about it in a similar fashion that you would for a regular decimal number. You know, you start in the uh, ones place right here and then if you look there's two ones one one now in terms of binary since binary is base two you know that uh, base two only consists of a zero or a one so you know there's no two that can be represented so if you have a one and a one a adding together then that just becomes a zero with a one carrying over and then now here we have a 1 and a 1 being added together again with this 0, so it's just going to be 0 with a 1 carried over. So a good thing to do would be to check your answers, and let's do that real quick. So in this top number, we have the decimal equivalent of 2 to the 0 plus 2 to the 1, which is 1 plus 2, so that's 3. And then here we have uh, 1, and the result we should get is 4, which if you check, that is 2 to the second. Okay, well let me go over a few little rules <clears throat> or things that you should have observed from the example I did previously. Let's say you're adding two binary numbers. You know, you have like a 0 and a 0. The result of this is going to be a 0. If you have a 0 added with a 1, the result's going to be a 1. And, you know, this order doesn't matter. You know, it could be 1 plus 0, 0 plus 1, and it's still going to be 1. But let's say you have a 1 plus 1. You're going to have a 1, 0. So keep these uh, simple rules in mind, and the addition of binary should be pretty straightforward and simple. You know, just as long as you keep these in mind, Everything should be really straightforward. It might take a little while to get used to adding uh, in binary because most people are used to decimal. But let's look at a few more examples so that way hopefully it'll concrete uh, what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, let's say for example we're trying to add these two binary numbers together. Let's say 1, 1, 1 added with 1, 0, 0. Oops, make this better. Okay, so <clears throat> in this first column, we have a 1 added to a 0. So that's just going to stay 1. In the next one, we have a 1 added with a 0, and that's going to stay a 1 as well. And we have, in this next column, we have a 1 added with a 1. So if you remember what I told you, it should be a 0 with a 1 carried over. And it's always good practice to check your result. So let's find out what it is that we were adding to ensure that we got the correct answer. Okay, so in this top uh, number, we have 1 plus 2, which is 3, um, plus 4, which is 7. And in this next number, we have 2 to the second, which is 4. So if you were to add those, you know, 7 plus 4 is 11 base 10 and if we go through this uh, binary number it's going to be 2 to the 0 which is 1 plus 2 to the 1 is 2 so that's 3 and then we have uh, and then we have 2 to the 3 which is 8 so 8 plus 3 is equal to 11 so that checks out <clears throat> and let's look at another example let's say we have this number 1 1, 1, 1, and it's added with 1, 1, 1. Now, just a side note, if you're ever adding two binary numbers and their lengths don't necessarily match up, you know, this top number is 4 bits and this bottom one is 3 bits, you know, just keep in mind that there's, you know, an implied 0 here. and as far as you know 
the addition or as far as adding the zero there, I mean it shouldn't really matter. You know, even if, if even if you followed just basic like decimal addition and stuff, if you had a similar thing going on, you know, you wouldn't necessarily put on put in the zero, but it's implied, so just keep it in mind. <clears throat> so let's look at this again. You know from the rules we have, we have two ones added together, it's gonna become a you know, one zero. So this is gonna become a one zero and then the one carries over here. And then now we have three ones being added together. So there's still gonna be, you know, the one zero, so one's gonna still be carried over, but then since that uh zero is gonna be, you know, here in this column, and then there's still this other one on the top, just be sure to add that other one. So zero plus one is one, and then you make sure you carry over the one, and then now you have the same thing again. So it's gonna be one one, which is gonna be zero one zero. So the one's gonna carry over, and then you have added to one, so that's gonna become a one. And then one one, which is gonna become a one zero, and the one carries over here. So I'll leave this up to you to check the result. Uh, this number, I believe, is uh, 15 plus 7, which should be 22. So be sure to check this out to make sure everything I wrote down was in fact correct, which I believe it is correct. You know, just doing uh, some mental math here. Um, let's see. Um, I guess we can look at one more example real quick. Um, hold on, let me think of a number. Okay, let's say we added these two numbers together. Um, one, zero, one. And then we're adding that with one, one, zero. You know, keep in mind the rules, you know, one plus a zero is a one. A one plus a zero is still a one, doesn't matter in the order. And a one plus a one is a one, zero, and the one carries over. And that's your result. So, <clears throat> just keep in mind, guys, the simple rules that I laid out. Um, I'd advise coming up with a few simple examples, you know, not coming up with, you know, adding two binary numbers that uh, perhaps aren't too, too lengthy. You know, maybe keeping it like two bits, three bits, just so you have the concepts down. Because you really don't want to be adding like really big numbers and you don't have the basic concept down because you're going to just make a lot of mistakes and then you're going to confuse yourself. So start off with really small examples. Be sure to check you know, your results. Convert your binary numbers back to decimal and then ensure that what you are adding is in fact correct. And if you're unsure how to do that, please check out my previous videos. Or you can always go online and type in, um, you know, a binary addition program or something like that. I'm sure something out there exists that's online. But before this video gets too lengthy, I'm going to end it here. And the next video, I'm going to uh, talk about subtracting binary numbers. And specifically, I'm going to be talking about one's complement. But just a heads up, so if you want to look into that, go ahead and do so. So it'll prepare you for the next video. But until next time, guys, take care.